killed Fox. Fox saw you behind the wheel right before you hit him with your car. You I didn't do it, Kay. I ever loved such a monster like you. And to think that poor Maria is going to have to grow up with her father in prison. Fox is lying. I mean, how could you possibly think I'd run him over and leave him for dead on the street? Look, there's a crane plot to get me out of the way so Fox can hold on to you, Kay. Until his tumor kills him? He doesn't have a tumor, Kay. It's a lie. He's not dying. Dr. Gasparro says he is. Well, Dr. Gasparro's lying, Kay. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know what? The truth always comes out, Kay. And you should know that better than anyone. And sooner or later, Fox will be exposed as the lying bastard he is. Palomo, he didn't hear you come in. Fox, I came to take your statement. But from what I've heard, it might not be necessary. Oh. See, Paloma, you're talking about a scheme to keep Kay and the girl apart. It's hard to tell. Let's just not say anything. Let her do the talking. If she knows that Miguel wasn't driving the car that hit me, <laughs> Kay will go back to Miguel, and you and I will go to prison. What are you two whispering about? Come back to bed. There is no way you're going to check on poor Luis, and that's final. Chris, this isn't at all like you. Well, you better get used to it. I've been indulging long enough, Sheridan. I am sick and tired of feeling like Luis is the most important man in your life. Is that what you think? Stop stalling and come back to bed so that I can make love to you. Is that an order? Sheridan, don't push me. I know Luis is in deep trouble, but it is not up to you to, to comfort him. You're my wife, and I want you here with me. Now come back to bed where you belong. Fancy and I were trying to remember things to help prove that I didn't violate her that night at the mansion. Let me get this straight. You let Eve hypnotize you? Yeah, after she hypnotized me. For God's sakes, Luis, where was your brain? Well, wh what's the big deal if we both remembered the same thing? Were you in the same room when Luis was being hypnotized by Eve? Yes. And what about you? We in the same room with Fancy when she was being hypnotized? Yes. Oh, don't you know any better? Now the DA can tell the jury that you planted suggestions inside Fancy's head while she was under hypnosis. Suggestions of your innocence. I didn't do that. We have no official proof to the contrary. Well, Eve can testify on my behalf. Well, Eve's reputation isn't exactly sterling after all those lies came out. Remember? Yeah, I never thought of that. Yeah, you weren't thinking at all. You, you managed to taint evidence from your own investigation. Wait, Chief, is it really that bad? If Luis goes on trial, and either one of you are asked to testify, Luis could spend the rest of his life behind bars. Look, Whitney, just... just tell me what has Teresa so upset. I know she's trying to tell me something. Earlier today, earlier at the mansion. What does she know that I need to know? Please. Ethan, I can't say. Whitney, you can say. Please. Okay, 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 fine. I, I will tell you this. Teresa needs you. She needs you now more than ever. You should go to her. Go be with her right now. Tess, let me help you. You can trust me, but you can't trust this Vincent guy. He doesn't care about you. All he's after is money. I appreciate that, but, um, he's a good snoop, Jared, and I think that he can get me what I need. Well, I'm sure he is a good snoop. But even if you pay him a pile of money, he's not going to do his best for you, and I will. You just tell me what's going on and let me help you. Careful how you answer, Teresa. One wrong word in you and everyone you love will be destroyed. I'm just going to come out and say it. Someone is trying to blackmail me, and I, I don't know what to do. <clears throat> Too late, Tess. It's all over for you. You'll have to speak up. I couldn't hear you. Oh, well, Fox is still recovering from his, his ordeal. He can only speak in a whisper. 
I understand. And for the record, it doesn't matter what Ivy or Kate told me. I need to hear what Fox has to say. Oh, well, that's understood. You are Nicholas Foxworth Crane, correct? Yes. I suppose there's only one question I have to ask you. Did you see who was driving the car that hit you? Yes, I did. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Paloma. But I must, since it's the truth. Your brother Miguel was driving the car that ran me down. He left me for dead in the street. Miguel. Even if it was my car, I wasn't driving it. Then who was? I don't know, Kay. I don't... No. Maybe that's why all the evidence points to you, Miguel. I mean, who else had something to gain from Fox being dead but you? No one. Which is why I keep saying that Fox or Julian are setting me up. Look, this is a crane plot. With me out of the way, Fox can hold on to you forever, yeah, Kay. Well, Fox isn't like that. Well, you know what? Yes, he is. And your love for him is blinding you from seeing it. Because you and I both know what the cranes are capable of doing. I'm sorry, I just, I can't believe that Fox would risk dying sooner than he already is just to frame you. He's not dying, Kay. Fox or Julian paid to go or light, and I'm willing to bet anything that once I'm in prison, that quack of a doctor is going to find some miracle drug to cure him. Okay, you know what, I, I can't think about that right now, okay? I just can't get past the fact that this is all my fault. Oh, oh now it's your fault. How is this your fault, Kay? Because I was making love to you hours after I got married to Fox. I can't. Adultery. That's a sin. You know what? If there's a sin in all this, it's that Fox guilted you into marrying him when you love me, Kay. I knew. Letting you try to clear your name with Miguel's while being suspended was a bad idea. But I trusted you to at least not make a bad situation worse, and that's exactly what you've well, done. Well, not necessarily, okay? Sam, listen to me. We now know that it's possible that there was a woman in Fancy's room the night that she was attacked. Now, what if uh, this woman got my DNA first and planted it in Fancy? <laughs> Luis, what you're suggesting is insane. Well, not it's far-fetched. It, it is not. Not if someone is setting me up. Have Fancy tell you, please. Sam, come on. Just, uh, you got to help me clear this up for all of our sakes. What did Eve say you remembered while you were under hypnosis? Uh, well, believe it or not, both Luis and I had the sense that a woman was involved in the attack at the mansion. Told you. This doesn't make any sense. I mean, how could a woman violate you? I don't understand why you're so angry. Sure, and that's part of the problem. You're so blindly devoted to Luis that you don't even think there is a problem. I really think you're making way too much out of this. Luis is my friend. He needs my help. Luis has a family, okay? He has Ethan, a lawyer that you secured for him, Sheridan. You don't have to be front and center every single time something bad happens to him. Is that what you think I do? Yes, that is. <laughs> You'll use absolutely any excuse to be near Luis. That is not true. Oh, like earlier tonight at the Blue Note. You only agreed to go out with me because you knew he was going to be there, Sheridan. I can't believe you think I would be so calculating. Yeah, well, facts are facts. When I asked you to go out with me, you couldn't be bothered. Then you speak to Luis behind my back. You find out that he's going to be there to speak to Ray about the peeping Tom. And then suddenly it's, oh, Chris, take me out to the Blue Note. Well, I, I realized when you first asked me out, I was being ungrateful. And I didn't want to hurt your feelings, so I, I agreed to go. Oh, did you watch him like a hawk the entire time we were there? Not the entire time. Sheridan, if you were any more lame, you'd need crutches. That's not very nice. Neither is using me to be around your ex. It's not like that. Yes, it is, damn it. So when are you going to forget about Louise and start remembering that I'm your husband? Whitney, you gotta give me more to go on here. I mean, what... How am I supposed to help Teresa? What am I supposed to do? I, look, I don't know. I really don't know, and that is the truth. I just know that Teresa is in a situation now where 
all of the crane money and power isn't going to help her. What? Yeah. Teresa just needs people around her right now that she can trust, Ethan. Well, I know one thing for damn sure. It's not Jared. Someone is threatening to destroy my life if I don't do what they say. Oh, Tess. And even if I meet their demands, my life's still going to be wrecked. So I just... I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You're going to let me handle this. I'll get you out from under the blackmailer's thumb. I really appreciate that. But, um, there really isn't anything that anyone can do. I need to do what he says. It's just really too awful to think about. All right. Just tell me this. Is the key to this blackmail what's on JT's memory stick? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that has to be where the blackmailer got the information that he's using against me. Now, if I could just get my hands on that stick, then I could eliminate the information that he's using against me, and I can actually stop him from blackmailing anyone else who's got a secret. Look, I love you. And I came back here hoping that you would forgive me. And maybe take me back. Now, let me make up for hurting you when I, when I broke off our engagement. Let me show you how much you mean to me. I'll take care of this blackmailer. I'll stop him dead in his tracks. All right. Now, the first thing you need to do is tell me what this guy has on you. And what's your big secret? You and Luis both sensed a woman inside the mansion the second time you were attacked. I know it sounds weird, but yes. <sighs> Luis told me before you confirmed it. Look, I still can't get my head around it. Yeah, we can't either. Well, it does explain how I could confuse being intimate with a woman dressed in a cheerleader uniform with fancy. <laughs> the transfer of your DNA from this woman to fancy. I mean, besides, uh, how could a woman be strong enough to even pull off such a violent attack? Well, that's possible. Look, even so, how, how, how could one person, much less two, get into a locked bedroom at a secured mansion while you were in the room? Well, maybe they hid on the estate beforehand. Oh, or maybe Scotty beamed them in directly. It's the Crane Mansion. My grandfather has secret passages put in all over the place. Maybe the attacker or attackers could have used them. She's got a point there, Sam. Remember New Year's Eve? Alistair fell out of that secret panel in the living room? Look, I know you want to clear Luis's name. I do, too. But if this goes to trial and you testify, the DA will use your feelings for Luis against him. Yeah, but if I tell the truth... But you have we... no proof of that. All the evidence points to Luis as being guilty. And your investigation will reek of a self-serving cover-up. Well, Sam, the whole reason that you paired me with Fancy is because you knew that she wouldn't cover up if I had that raped her. That was before Ray turned up dead with your St. Christopher medal in her hand. Now, open your eyes, people. This is going from bad to worse at warp speed. Now, if you testify, God help you both. I'm, I'm not scared of the DA. Oh, really? I want you to sit here. Sit down. I'm going to be the DA, and you're going to be you. Sam, so, do we really have to do this? I want Fancy to see what she's getting herself involved in, and this goes to trial. Now, are you ready for this? Just listen to me, okay? Um, it's really complicated. And what I'm about to say, well, after you hear it, you may wish that you had never met me. Yes. There's nothing you can say to me that'll change the way I feel. I love you, and I'm here for you, no matter what. Jared, first of all, I can't marry you. Not when Ethan is available after 
so many years. But Tessie doesn't deserve you. You deserve better. Look, Jared, Ethan is free. Gwen's going to divorce him, and we're going to be a family with Jane and little Ethan. And you know this is what I've always wanted. Yeah. Yeah, I know. No, it's kind of funny. I love you so much, I just... I want you to be happy. Even if that takes... Ethan. Well, you know what? I'm not actually gonna... marry Ethan. I mean, uh, not yet. Why not? He and Gwen will be divorced. Well, I can't go into detail right now, but, I mean, one day we will be together. That I'm sure of. What the hell is going on? Oh, Jared and I were just actually having a conversation. I'm not talking about you and, and Jared. I'm talking about this text message you just sent me. What message? That I'm little Ethan's father? What? What? Is it true? My little Ethan's father? Is there anything you'd like to add to your statement? Nothing I can think of right now. Just that I remember it was Miguel that was driving the car that hit me. If you want to <clears throat> amend your statement, contact headquarters. I will. A uh, Paloma, would you give the DA a message from me? Yeah, of course, Mr. Crane. You tell him I want the book thrown at Miguel. That monster that you call a brother should spend the rest of his life in prison. Okay, you love me. I know you do. You know, I married Fox because I love him. But you love me more, Kay. I'm the man you want to be with, not Fox. And I want to be with you. I want to be with you and Maria, not Charity. Yeah, well, you lied to me about kissing her. Well, Charity kissed me. Oh. And I denied it because I didn't want to upset you, Kay. Still, you lied. Yes, I lied. A little white lie. I'm sorry. I'm guilty. But Fox has lied to you about everything, Kay. From his fatal malignancy to accusing me of running him over. I didn't do it, Kay. And I never slept with Charity. Yeah, well, that whole thing about the two people impersonating you guys, I mean, that's just a little I'm, out there. I mean, uh, are, are you forgetting who we're talking about? Julian hired a fake Luis to break up my brother and Sheridan. I mean, how, how is this any different? Listen to me, I'm telling you the truth, Kay. You know what, every time you kiss me and the love you feel in those kisses is the love you want. A love only I can give you, not Fox. Please, Kay. I mean, put aside all the evidence that's against me and just listen to your heart. It'll tell you the truth. And the truth is you want to be with me, not Fox. And I had nothing to do with what's happened to me. I haven't forgotten that you are my husband, Chris. I love you. I love you and James. Then why does your focus always seem to be on Luis instead of me and our son? It isn't. Then why are we arguing about you wanting to be with him right now? Why aren't we in bed making love? It's just that this news about Luis was so upsetting. <sighs> Granted, I understand that. But why is this your problem? Why do you think that you're the only one who can be there for Luis? Why you? Why not Fancy or Pilar or Paloma? Sam, for that matter. I never said that I was the only one. Sharon, please just stop. Step back and look at the big picture. Luis has moved on. He's with Fancy now. And he doesn't need you holding his hand. Luis is my friend. He's going through a tough time right now, and he needs me. Damn it, Sheridan. I'm your husband. And I need you, too. I need you in my arms, in our bed, tonight. Our marriage should be much more important than your friendship with another man. Another man who is in love with your, your niece, 
fancy. Not with you. Sam, seriously, come on. You're gonna upset Fancy for nothing. Cut it out. It's Not if she realizes how bleak your future looks if you go on trial for murder and rape. It's okay, Luis. I can handle myself. Ask me anything you want, Mr. D.A. All right. Miss Crane, it's your assertion that you were in a locked bedroom at your family's estate surrounded by security when you were attacked. Correct. You've also stated that the only other person in your room with you was Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Well, that's true, but we both... Moving on. Ms. Crane, are you in love with Lopez Fitzgerald? What difference does it make if I am or not? It's simple, really. All the evidence points to Luis being the attacker that night at the mansion. His DNA was found inside you, yet you refuse to believe that he raped you. Now, why is that, Miss Crane? Why do you refuse to believe, despite concrete proof to the contrary, that Luis Lopez Fitzgerald violently attacked you? Because he wouldn't do that. Why not? He just wouldn't. Why not? If Lopez Fitzgerald didn't rape you, then what did he do? I don't know. Yet you still feel the need to protect him. Why? Because I love him. All right? I love Luis. Answer me. Am I little Ethan's father, or, or what? Look, we've been through this, and I have told you that you're like a father to little Ethan. All hell is breaking loose out there. Everyone is saying that you're not in charge of crime anymore. Well, how the hell can that be? Unless this text message is true. That I'm little Ethan's father and Julian isn't? And that means little Ethan isn't a crane heir? I get it. <laughs> this is the secret you learned in Rome, wasn't it? But you kept it to yourself. Yeah, I, did, I wanted to tell crane you... Crane money and crane power meant more to you than your son knowing who his father is? No, that's not why I didn't tell you. No, how could you do this to me? I didn't go after Ethan. I just told Jared that, that he and I would be together one day. That's it. Honey, who are you talking to? I don't know. I don't know. That's how she's losing her mind. No. How could you do this? How could you destroy my family? Now my brothers are going to go to prison? There's only the four of us here, honey. And you're gonna show yourself to me. You're gonna show yourself to me. Let me see who you are. Why are you doing this to my family? Oh, God, why is that Listen to me, I know you have your doubts. And I don't blame you. The Fox has done a hell of a job of making me look bad to you. But I swear, I swear on my love for Maria, I haven't done anything to hurt you or Fox. So you said you, you saw the headlights of the car coming at you. Were you able to see who was driving? Yes. Yes, it did. Who was it? We, we need to know. It was me, Kelly. No, I'm sorry. I, I don't believe you, not this time. You know what, I've seen and heard way too much. I mean, I just told you how Fox or Julian could have pulled this off, Kate. Yeah, well, I saw with my own eyes you kissing Charity on a surveillance tape. A kiss you lied about until you can lie anymore. Look, I didn't say anything because I didn't want to upset you. But, Leave me alone. Okay, please, wait. I Kay. mean it. Leave me alone. Okay, please. Miguel, Miguel, let her go. You'll only make things worse. How am I going to make things worse, Paloma? The woman I love not only thinks I cheated on her, but thinks I tried to kill Fox with my car. I didn't try to run him over to be with her and Maria, Paloma. I'm being set up. Okay, I'm being set up by Fox or Julian, and... Miguel. Pity you'll never prove it. That's what separates your kind from the cranes. We do what we must to win. Give us last K, Maria. Next is freedom. The end. So you admit 
you're in love with the defendant, Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. Yes. But that has nothing to do with how I approached our investigation of the charges against him. My police training has taught me to be impartial. Who was your instructor? Who was your instructor at the police academy? Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. And is it not true that in the course of your training that you and the defendant made a porno tape? Oh, God. Yeah, And yeah, is it but... not true that you were repeatedly reprimanded by the chief of police for fraternizing with each other in violation of police policy? All right, stop yeah. it, Sam. We get the picture. Well, I hate to say this, but uh, once you admit loving Luis in court, the jury will think that he's manipulated you all along. Nancy, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry, Luis. Everything I did since I've signed up to be a cop has hurt you. I mean, going undercover at the club and giving you a laugh dance in front of witnesses and making that skin flick and tempting you to be with me, even though it was against regulations. And, and if you hadn't been alone with me that night in my princess room when I was attacked, you couldn't have been charged with rape. And without yes. that, you wouldn't have been a suspect in Ray's murder. So all of this, everything that's happened has been my fault. Fancy. No, it's Don't. true. What Sam said is right. If I say I love you in court, it would be the last nail in your coffin. And it would be because of me, because of my loving you, that you would end up in prison. Why did you follow through with your threat? I did not tell Ethan that little Ethan was his son. I should still be head of this empire. I should still be in a position to help my brothers. You all right? We kind of zoned out there for a second. I'm sorry. Jared, I, I made a really big mistake telling you that I'm being blackmailed. I made a very... Big, huge. No, 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 I did. You didn't make a mistake by telling me that. Look, I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help you. I don't think that's a very good idea, Jared. Look, I love you. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to get you out from under the blackmailer's thumb. So we can be together. Jared. Teresa, what are you doing with Jared? You don't know, mean it, Sheridan. It seems that every time I look around, I find you trying to find a way to be with Luis. Chris is too close to the truth. Don't argue with him. Distract him. I'm sorry. You're right. Here I am at home with my sweet, sexy, loving husband. I should be concentrating on you, not worrying about someone else. I hate losing my temper with you, Sheridan. You know how much I love you. I am so sorry I upset you. I love you. You're the man that I love. You saved me from myself. You entrusted me with your son. He's our son now. And we are a happy, loving family. And if I made you feel otherwise, then I deeply regret that. I love you so much. I would never put anyone ahead of you. And if I made you feel that way, then I could just kick myself. I'm sorry. I, I maybe you overreacted just a little. And I know that you and Luis share a very long and deep history together. I understand you can't just stop caring for him just because you're married to me. I'm so sorry that I upset you. Let me show you how much I love you. Fancy you're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. I'm not going to prison because I'm innocent. And I'm going to prove it by finding whoever it was who's responsible for hurting you. He or she or they, they're going down. I'm going to prove it. I swear it, Fancy. Uh, can I go home now, Chief? Please, I'm really tired. Of course. Thanks. Fancy, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. 
It opened my eyes to just how bad things really are. And my part in making that happen. Fancy, please, would you stop blaming yourself for this, okay? It's not your fault. Good night. I'll have a car take you home just to be safe. No, 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 wait. I'll give you a ride home. No, no, no bother. No bother. I'll be fine. Well, I'm going to get to work on finding out whoever did this. I'm going to clear my name and Miguel's. Don't you get it, Ethan? Tessa's forgiven me for breaking off her engagement. She's taking me back, and we're going to be together from now on. Is this true? Is this true? Tell me you're not serious about taking this lying loser back. Hey, 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 watch your mouth. You're going to be swallowing your teeth, buddy. Oh, go to hell. Okay, just, just stop it, please, both of you, please. Sorry. Me too. Um, about Jared and me, the truth is... Excuse me. I wonder if it's the blackmailer again. Check your message, Teresa. Tess, everything all right? What is going on here? Hey, here's your, uh, your juice, your fruit. Sorry it took so long. Oh, it's all right. As long as you're here now, that's all that really matters. Oh, I love you so much, Kay. You and little Maria. I wish she I hadn't seen her in so long. She's good. I miss her. I hope I get to see her soon. Well, I can bring her in here to see you. I don't want to be a burden. Not a burden. You're my husband. And I love you. And I'm sorry that you had to go through all of this. This isn't your fault. Miguel's jealousy got the best of him. What's important is that you and I are together now for the rest of our lives. We're together. Soon you'll have everything you want, my boy. You'll get Kay, Maria, and revenge on McGill for daring to take back what was yours. I don't mean to hurt you, Chris. I do love you. Just that Luis is the love of my life. And if he needs me, then I have to be there for him. This just into the newsroom, the bizarre saga of sexual attacks on Fancy Crane has taken a deadly turn. Sources tell us that Miss Crane's significant other and superior on the Harmony Police Force, Officer Luis Lopez Fitzgerald, is now a prime suspect in the murder of local gay and lesbian activist Ray Thomas. Stay tuned for further updates as information becomes available. Oh my God. Poor Luis. I can go see him and be back without Chris ever knowing I left. Well, if someone is setting up me and Miguel, they're doing a hell of a job, I'll say. I think you should go tell Ethan what's going on right now. Oh, could this day have been any worse? with raping me, and now a prime suspect in Ray's murder. 
Maybe things will get better. Maybe my attacker will be found after all. Fancy. There you are. Aunt Sheridan. I saw the news on TV. What are you talking about? <clears throat> you stupid bitch. You ruined Louise's life. That's what I'm talking about. Tess, what's going on? Will you please say something? What will it be, Teresa? A life with Ethan and your children? Or saving your brother's lives? Um, <clears throat> Sorry, that message was just a reminder of something that I need to do. Ethan, I'm really glad you're here because um, something I want to tell you, there's something that I should have told you earlier. Teresa's choosing Ethan over Luis and Miguel. Teresa, what are you doing? I've thought it over and I want to marry Jared after all. What? Tess, you just made me the happiest man in the world. 